this that ADHD handling right now because why why did I need to tell y'all that I didn't need to tell y'all that Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Cece, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. I hope that you would stay, subscribe, and become a part of the Fashion Sista family. Here over on my channel, I show you how to be your baddest bitch at an affordable cost. And today, we are back with another drugstore product review. Today, as you guys can tell by the title, we are going to be reviewing the Morphe Soft Radiance Concealer. If you guys are not new to my channel, then you all know that I swore by the original Morphe Continuous Concealer. And when I went to Ulta yesterday and I saw this, I picked it up and I knew that I absolutely had to review it for you guys. So that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. If you guys are interested in seeing my initial thoughts and my final thoughts on this concealer, keep watching. So for the star of the show today, it is this Morphe Filter Effect Soft Radiance Concealer. I had to look at it to make sure I got it right. I don't know why I cannot think of the name of the original concealer, but I know it's like continuous something, if I'm not mistaken. But y'all know, if you're not new to my channel, you know I wore that concealer doll. So when I went into Ulta yesterday, I was looking for that concealer to replace it because I'm running low on the concealer that I use now and I didn't see it, but I did see this and I was like, mm, let me, let me get this to try and see what it's hitting for because y'all know I love Morphe product almost, I would say about probably like 50% of my kit when it comes down to a brand in its entirety is Morphe. So Morphe, if y'all see this, hit your girl up because y'all have to pay me to act like I like y'all stuff because I already spent enough money with y'all. Anyway, for the concealer, I got this shade Rich 30 Neutral. I'm gonna grab the receipt so I can give y'all the facts. This concealer retails for $12, but y'all know I teach y'all how to be y'all baddest bitch at an affordable cost. So I did have the $3.50 off of $15 or more. So it did take off like $1.68 amongst the other products that I had. So I ended up paying $10.32 for it. We're gonna see how this works because I didn't do this on purpose, but the fact that this has been the foundation that I've fallen back in love with is actually perfect because I have been running my Morphe Filter Effect Soft Focus Foundation into the ground. Again, it's just so beautiful on the skin. You guys know I compared this to my NARS Natural Radiant Longwear and I don't give nobody that title. So Morphe, you doing something right. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up because I, I hadn't opened the package or anything. I literally just bought it put it in my beauty room because I knew that I wanted to film a dedicated video to it. Y'all know anytime I get my hands on something new that's a drugstore, I try to sit down and film a video about it because like I said, I built my channel off of sharing my drugstore favorites with you guys because when I started off as a makeup artist, I didn't have the money to go and splurge and MAC and on Lancome and Too Faced and Fenty Beauty. Well, Fenty Beauty came out long after I started my journey, but y'all know what I'm saying. I didn't have the money to splurge on high-end products, so if I could show y'all and share with y'all some drugstore products that helped me start my career that are not only good, not only affordable, but they're good regardless of the price point, then that's what I'm gonna do. So this is what it looks like. And this is what it looks like swatched on the skin. So without further ado, I know I was doing a lot of talking. We're going to go ahead and get into laying the concealer down so I can give you guys my initial thoughts. You guys know how my reviews go. I like to see how these new products incorporate with the products that I'm already using. And then I come back at the end with my thoughts and opinion. I have quite a bit of content to film today. So I am going to leave this on all day. And then I'm going to come back later on tonight just to let you guys know how this concealer wore throughout the day. And then I'll give y'all my final rating. So let's go ahead and get into that. All right, so I did need to put the rest of my base and stuff down because if you guys are not new to my channel, you guys know that I like to 
put my contour, my blush down. So when I blend out my concealer, everything is super like airbrush and flawless. So I did go ahead and lay this concealer down. This has been sitting a little bit longer. And then after I did my contour, my blush, I did the concealer that's on the outer part of my eye. So I'm gonna start with the chin. Now I will say for this to be a radiant concealer, it definitely does get a little tacky. And I like that because I feel like the longer you let your concealer sit, the thicker the consistency, even though I feel like the consistency of this concealer was pretty fair while I was laying it down, but it blends out beautifully. I don't like my under eye to be super flawless, so I'm gonna blend that part last. And just a quick tip for concealer and full coverage and to get the best blend. I personally like to blend out the edges and just let like the center kind of just sit, you know? Now with this part, because it's gonna be the center of the eye, it doesn't really matter to me as much about going in where the actual concealer is at, like outside of the borders, but closer towards my nose I try to have a very very light hand so the concealer is all blended out and from what I see and what I feel right now I think that this concealer is very beautiful um, I can definitely tell that it has some type of radiance to it because Blush aside, the concealer just looks very dewy. I will say that it definitely does have more of a glow to it versus the other Morphe concealer that I felt like once I blended it down, although you could still tell it needed to be set, it wasn't as radiant as this concealer, but it feels good. It doesn't feel like thick or weird or anything under my eye. Like it feels good to set it. And then after I finish my face, well, before I jump into finishing the rest of my face, I'm gonna come back after I get everything like set and probably like brows. So the concealer has been set and so far so good. I feel like it looks the same way that my concealer always looks when I set it with my RCMA No Color Powder. So I'm going to go ahead finish the rest of my face, my other content that I am putting out, and we gonna, we gonna come back at the end of the day and see how I feel about this concealer. All right, so you guys, it is the end of the night. I am about to take this off. I filmed so much content today. I did obviously this concealer video. I also filmed a video on my favorite drugstore products, and then I also created this super cute super easy valentine's day look valentine's day look gonna go up after this concealer look so just be on the lookout for that you should already have your bell notification on and you should be subscribed to my channel so that way you don't miss it and if you're not we're gonna wait right here while you do it click that bell it's somewhere down here make sure you subscribe it's somewhere down here so as far as the concealer is concerned, I will say that I think personally that this concealer is really beautiful. It's super lightweight. I don't feel it on my skin. I've had it on now for going on hmm, about maybe like six hours and it still looks good. It's not creasing. It's not seeping into the skin. Um, I just any normal touch up that I normally would have to do throughout the day, which is just patting my RCMA powder is all that I've had to do. But I don't think that it's because of the concealer because my T-zone is oily. Regardless, you guys know I have combination skin. But if I had to rate this concealer, I would definitely give it maybe an 8 out of 10, 8.5 out of 10, because I love how beautifully it blends out. I just wish that there were more shade selections available. And I also need to speak to that. And I should have got on the Morphe website because I don't know what's been going on lately, but a lot of the products that I need for my complexion just has not been available in stores lately. I don't know what that's about, but hopefully on the Morphe website, they do have another like 
chunk of shade selections to choose from because I know the previous concealer definitely had a lot to choose from. This one, I wanna say that at my Ulta, there were maybe like 10 or 12 available. So I grabbed the one that I feel like would suit me best. But I do feel like if I could get one that's just a little deeper with the same undertone, this would have been perfect. But yeah, other than that, I absolutely love the concealer. I feel like it wears perfect. This will definitely be in my routine, specifically um, to hold me down if and when I run out of my Huda Beauty before I'm able to replace it. I love it, honestly. Dare I say I like it a little bit more than the initial continuous concealer. I think it's because I'm in my dewy era, so that's probably why I like it a little bit more. Nonetheless, if you guys have not checked out this concealer or if you were waiting for somebody to review it in order for you to go and pick it up, I do have a link below, down below in the description box if you guys would like to purchase from Ulta. And yeah, that is pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all and I will see you guys in my next video.